Step standing and step weight transfer. Heel and toe in line with each other. So we're not side by side. We're just putting that forward. It's not a big step. It's not a lunge. We don't want a lunge. We just want like a small step. And then transfer the weight forwards. Unlocked knee. So we do this the other way around. Just as if you were about to walk. Nothing else more than that. If we were walking, we would just continue to copy and paste and repeat this on the other side and do it here and then go to that one. What I <coughs> would like to emphasize here is the importance of feeling, really to feel what your foot's doing, feel that you've got a soft knee, it's not locked, neither is it bent, it's in a neutral position which is a normal thing for us when we're walking so that we can make a little adjustment. So if your knee is locked, it's not quite right. You want a soft knee and then back. Forwards, feeling the pressure on the ball of the foot. Is it more on the outside? Is it more on the inside? Soft knee, feel the hip. If the body's forward of the hip, bring the hips forward a little bit so everything's in a nice straight line. We don't want sway back either. We want to be in line. You can see that from the video. I can feel that I'm in line. I have awareness. I don't need to look at the video to know that I'm in line. It's not a rigid thing, this is not forward and back like that. No, there's a softness in the knee which then allows me to come forwards as though standing and then back. So it's more about feeling the movement and getting control than it is about how many repetitions you do or how quickly you do it. So feel it, do it slowly and do both sides.